Hi, this is Susie Leventero. Okay, so now we are on Libra. We're doing the Sun Tarot. Okay, same sex reading. And, um, okay, so I need to move a little bit faster. Uh, it's been uh, going slow here. So let me try and see if I can move a little faster so I could get it all in today. And, um, okay, so here we go. This is Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so who's coming towards you? Oh, no, this isn't who's coming towards you. This is um, for those who work. Uh, that's right, we're doing. For those who work a lot in uh, how to bring in this create space for love okay so we're trying to figure that out okay and uh, see if we can get any clues on what to do here okay so keep planting those seeds Jupiter brings in those things that um, you plant so flirt I'm getting flirt 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 okay Leo okay so um, shoring up your energy, right, from within. Uh, Self-esteem and love and healthy ego, humble energy, but passionate, uh, social, getting more comfortable about uh, being more sociable. Okay, and okay, I feel like you're going to be traveling with this person. Could be like Scorpio, Sagittarius, cusping energy. Could be like um, Gemini, a like like a uh, what is that soulmate energy? Someone who's positive and outgoing. That's what I'm getting a lot here. Okay, might have a little Earth, so it could be like a Virgo, Leo, cusping energy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm getting is taking more social events that have to do with work and uh, maybe like conventions and things uh, where you can learn new things to bring into your work force. And that might connect you with people who have some things in common. That's what I'm getting. So conventions. Okay. It's like learning new stuff and meeting new people scheduling that Capricorn so this could be a water sign or earth sign cancer could be uh, it could be any water or earth sign that kind of holds in uh, their feelings Okay, so it could be Aquarius energy here. Yeah, holding in. Okay, so if that's you, you want to open up. Don't be shy. Be outgoing like Leo, right? Okay, Saturn. Yeah, so that's definitely Aquarius there. That's like Aquarius came out twice here. Okay. Now, for some of you, the Saturn represents a past love that you had uh, entanglement with, and you're wondering if you're going to have peace with them uh, over time. I feel like the answer is yes. All right, so let's see. So we got conventions. The key is action. Action, 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 action. Oh, you're coming to the end of a cycle, so you'll be ready and fresh and ready. Fresh and ready. 
like the spring Irish spring that's what I'm getting like spring okay herald of swords it's gonna feel like a a, a breath of fresh air yes okay all right now this one would understand your soul What's all this? Okay. White Desert Egypt. This is someone you see as pure. Okay. I This, I'm getting a couple of things. I'm getting someone in the military, um, someone who is in service of others, and then I'm also getting, like, camping, who likes nature. Okay. Okay, so the mushroom, what I'm getting is, okay. Mushrooms symbolize happiness. So the key to success here in union is find the little things that bring you satisfaction in each moment during your day and that's going to train you yourself and your own energy into being a magnetic attraction to those things that will take the clouds away it's like they're showing me um like snoopy you know the one character with the clouds that go around him uh, um Okay, so it's like you can change that. You can change your outcome. And now they're showing me this is like a tablecloth with the, it's like doily. Okay, so holes in the fabric perhaps through Moving to the land of milk and honey. So it's like closing the gaps in your fabric by training yourself to move in more uh, positivity. Now, sometimes what happens is when you overwork yourself, you don't realize it, but your outcome comes out lower because you haven't recharged your batteries. So if that's the case... I would do something like transcendental medicine, uh, meditation, like in the middle of the day, or to kind of recharge your batteries, right? And recharge your world, your work and love life. That would bring in the sunlight. Also, I'm getting stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking water. All right, Libra, don't get mad at me. <laughs> okay, so this is what the scales can do, right? It's like you want go, you want go, you want go, you want faster momentum, but it's like it's okay, but the scales, it's like stop, slow, stop, slow, stop. It's like the scales, right? All right, so. And that can send mixed signals. Your person is like, do you want me or not? Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Okay, so. Um, all right, so that could have been the past or moving into the future. Okay, so keep in mind your scales. Okay, so what you want is faster momentum. Okay, and so here is the, this is like, the Middle East, right? And it's upside down. And these are the prayer calls. So have you been uh, tuning in to your energy within, right? Right? 
UAE, Adhan and Shajra. Okay, so what is that? Okay, so if you're Russian, I don't really understand all that, but okay, so what I'm getting is um, perhaps it would be easy to go to somewhere in the UAE and take a, a little breather. That's what I feel like you need here. Spending time at the temple or whatever your religion is could also bring in more peace to you, right? This is like your world upside down. Okay, and you want to move quickly out of that. Well, how can you do that? Return to center. Now, what is this? This is all the things you want to say that you've been holding back. Okay. That could represent the past. Collect. Records record stories and overheard conversations. If you don't know the language, listen for a word or a phrase you hear repeatedly. Find out what it means. Okay. Oh, okay. So what I'm getting is practicing uh, the language a little bit before you go on your trip here and uh, and <laughs> And you could get a few laughs out practicing your whatever language, wherever trip you go to, right? That's easy to get to and give yourself free time. And that could be fun. Now, this could represent um, uh, India or anywhere you go, right? Okay, so I feel like uh, finding a few words to try out on uh, people would bring in a few laughs. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, oh, here's another way. Okay, now, in America, here especially, uh, they have places where people get together and practice their language, whatever they're trying to learn. And they have groups where you gather together and socialize and practice communicating each other. So that is a suggestion. Okay, so you might join something like that, and that could you could meet your person there. Okay. It's all about, and doing stuff like that will help you open up to lover. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Oh, okay. So some of you, your background is Persian. Okay. And your background is Persian. So, um, Okay, so this is like second generation, whatever, okay, whatever ethnicity, what your background is. Oh, okay, okay, there's a lot here, okay. Whatever ethnicity your background is, making the connection through language with that, and then taking that to your connections okay so let's say you did a dna test right and you had certain backgrounds so you might learn that language and then go to those locations your roots and um and that may help you feel connected okay so for someone it's like a parent crossed over uh, dad and you feel a connection to dad yet it's all been non-physical but for some reason I feel like making that connection to uh, go visit wherever this is or somewhere near it if it, you can't you know or even studying the culture can um, bring it closer in yeah. And that connection alone can be a big assistance in any connection that you come together with in the future. Okay, I like it. Okay, so for some of you, this might be uh, Indonesia. Oh, this is go to markets. Guard, um, this is 
go to farmers markets around wherever your area is and choose to do that like um, put it on your schedule and I feel like that would be a big stress relief okay observe okay so it's all about making eye contact wherever you go in your day and you have an intense look so soften it with a smile okay observe name one custom you have noticed that is different from your own embrace it okay so that's what i'm getting is venturing out and exploring different cultures or different background or getting back to your roots and somehow that is the connection okay I like it okay now let's move on to uh, Scorpio okay I might have to do um, the other ones tomorrow okay so let's see Scorpio okay all sign singles any suggestions on connection okay so they suggest a spark of connection okay let's do that Ooh, what is that card all right okay let's get spark of connection Set up a regular phone date with long distance friend. Set a mutual goal with a friend. Be each other's accountability partner. Ooh, I like those. Okay. Set up a regular phone date with a long distance friend. Okay, so you can even do those things where you can look at them on the screen, right? Okay start a club around a hobby like reading or drawing mark your calendar with loved ones birthdays and anniversaries Ooh, okay so if you recently got a phone call from someone and it was they called you on your birthday put it on your calendar so you remember next year Share a happy secret with a friend. Be available when your loved ones need a listening ear. Okay, so for someone, you have a child. Okay, and uh, so it's like connecting with child. Okay. All right. Okay, no more spying. What does that mean? Oh, some of you are with this person already, but you're just trying to find new ways to connect. Okay, so let's see. Some of you may be doing this. <laughs> Connecting through the internet. Technology. Oh, okay, so this could be like... Um, a gamer energy I'm getting. Okay, so it's like playing uh, those... Um, video games at home together that's what i'm getting with that playing the video games together wait yeah playing video games together okay king of swords it's an air sign and I feel like you've made a promise, some sort of promise to this person. You see them as magical, beautiful. They see that in you too. Okay. But you feel like they're hiding their feelings, and I think you're right. Now, if you're a 
if you're a Libra, Scorpio, cusping energy here, um, the key is opening up to your world, to the people that are loving on you. Okay, so this could be any water sign or earth sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, so they want to bring it in. They want to work on it. Herald of Cups. I feel like it's all about the timing here. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you are starting a new job is what I'm getting. Or you just started something. You just started something, but you already want to walk away from it. That's what I'm getting. Um, but this could also be, um, you started something up, some kind of project. But you want to give to this. So sometimes you think about walking away from it uh, so that you can um, be with this past person. Or this could be be with your person. Okay, because you you get the feel-good energy thinking about them. Okay, so the last judgment. Once and for all, you're going to decide whether you want to go back to the Capricorn or not. But it requires you to connect within. So if you've had a lot of stress... Okay, you want to tune in to that energy. Okay. This is expanding your grid, your matrix, with your person who could be a Libra. Why do I keep getting Libra? Could be any air sign. Let's see who this person is. Okay, so Capricorn we've got here. Fire sign for some. Someone's harnessing fire energy, but I feel like that could be you. Okay. Communication. Healing. The past. Oh, okay. Okay, so you feel positive about a Taurus and a Capricorn. Those are two people that I feel like, for someone, is a very definite feel-good place. Okay, now... This is like if it was just sexual, um, you could bring it in by being more uh, illuminated uh, by raising your energy from de-stressing. And then that could bring in this person again. But I don't know if you, you, I feel like you feel like you don't have the energy for that person. So therefore, you didn't go forward with them. Okay. I feel like being with them takes a lot of energy. This one feels more like uh, high, like um, closer to your age energy is what I'm getting. Like um, more mature energy is what I want to say. Okay. And... I don't think you've let go of this one. Okay, this is for someone. Someone didn't let go of this person. And this one came trucking in, right? But it was like this kind of Pluto energy. Um, so it was like um, some sort of lesson came with that. Okay. Uh, and so you had good times with this one. 
but deep down there's something a door still open here okay so okay take a look at that now for some of you this is a friend that is a Taurus that is a positive feeling place now this could be like What it's calling for is to be authentic and open with this person. And I feel like this friendship can bring in if this isn't a connection, then uh, you're going to meet people through this one. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. All right, uh, Scorpio, I almost said Libra. Okay, thank you. 